Hello everyone, this is another video of the arthroscope of the small joint that is a distal radio ulnar joint uh, called the DRUJ. This is a critical joint as this is quite important for this movement that is supination and pronation. Loss of supination can be quite disabling as this is quite important because we need our hands to take care of ourselves, to eat, to receive the prasadam in the temple, especially in our custom. So this is that is the palm facing the face. For example, this lady had loss of supination in the right distal radio ulna joint, whereas the left was normal and she had a lot of swelling on the wrist as well. The x-ray was normal and the MRI showed extensive synovitis of the DRUJ. You can see the sac and the, the T2 images with the fluid seen both dollar, dorsal and the volar. This is how one approaches the distal radio ulna joint and the, these are the portals, the proximal distal and the middle portal. Once we start this, this is viewing through the middle portal, DRUJ portal. You can see the mucky fluid there. So once you irrigate that, you make another portal. First you inspect the radiocarpal joints, then you do the DRUJ arthroscopy. That's the portal where you are viewing through. Next you to the working portal, that's the needle there. Then you introduce your shaver there, you clear off those synovium, well fluid. You can see there are small erosions of the cartilage there. And you simultaneously you take a sample of the synovial tissue for biopsy, which is essential to prove our diagnosis so as to what is the cause of the problem. So this essentially serves both the purpose of therapeutic and the diagnostic. So this is the extensive synovitis. You can see this is the volar sac, volar words. When you push your scope slightly inside, you can see it's so extensive synovitis. That is what I'm working through the another portal there. So this can be interchanged as well. So once you clear off, you can see the small erosions, whereas the sigmoid notch is quite good. So you clear off all these synovium. The various causes could be there. It could be synovitis due to the inflammation or uh, tuberculosis or the infective etiology, which is quite common in the Indian population. Then once you clear that, you can see that distal radial ulnar joint, still small amount of synovium is there. You clear that as well. Thoroughly deprived the synovium there. You can see now the cartilage and the distal radial ulnar joint is seen a lot better. The TFCC is intact, that is on the superior part is a TFCC. So this all this is done through the distal radial ulnar joint portal itself. The major advantages of this procedure are smaller incision, faster rehab, minimal scars, and also both it serves the diagnostic as well as the therapeutic uh, procedures. After the surgery, you can be mobilized in a splint and full supination above elbows. So the cast or the slab or a splint is advised. Slowly, once two months after the surgery, you can see that's the range of movement. So the, overall, this is a quite uh, beneficial procedure. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below.